Redneck. Must be out. Hi, buddy. Oh, he's, look at him. he's still meeting me. Good boy. Boy, come a little bit more, please. I believe we have officially hit the six month mark in my pregnancy, and I'm still riding, still doing as much in the saddle as I possibly can while I can. My energy may not exactly be what it used to be, especially with some of the weather we've been having lately, it can get quite hot outside. My lungs definitely don't have the strength and capacity they used to, but we just do the best with what we've got. And I don't think Rudnick's complaining about having the shorter workout sessions anyways. But honestly, even if it's just 10 minutes in the saddle, any times that I can enjoy riding right now, I am fully embracing it because as much as I know that once I'm no longer able to ride, there's still so much we can do from the ground. Riding is my therapy, it's my escape, it's how I shut off my brain from everything that's going on in my life. So I am going to enjoy it for as long as I absolutely can until I feel that it's no longer safe to continue doing so. If it weren't for the fact that I trust Rudnick as much as I do, and we've definitely brought down the level of crazy that we have in our riding, I wouldn't have continued riding for as long as I have been. My doctor has already given me the all clear. She said as long as I feel safe. She encouraged it because it's how I get out, it's how I keep moving and stay active, which is very important, especially as we're getting into the later months of pregnancy but also because it's so good for my mental health. This is everything to me when it comes to keeping myself sane. So my doctor is in full support of it as long as everything is good. I trust Rednick, we're not doing anything crazy and our rides are basic, very simple and easy arena workouts most of the time with the occasional trail ride, which even then we definitely don't go as crazy on those as we were six months ago. But like I said, it really comes down to the level of trust that I have in Rudnick. And if I did not trust him with my life the way that I do, I would not still be riding him. He is not now, nor has he ever been, the type of horse to randomly just decide to start running and bucking, throwing a fit. If anything, he's been the type of horse that you have to kind of get him motivated to show that he's got some get up and go in him because most of the time in our rides, it's a lot more slow down and whoa. Boy. My fiance will come along as often as he can with me to the new farm and he does enjoy watching me and Rudnick do our work in the arena. He's definitely happy that I'm not doing the crazy stuff that I was doing six months ago. So this time last year, Rudnick and I actually had a lot of fun doing cool. most of our rides in the arena without stirrups or reins. There were even a few times I had set up some very low poles and jumps and we were going over those without stirrups and reins. So my fiance is very appreciative of the fact that I have stopped doing all of that stuff since finding out I'm pregnant. I've definitely stepped it down a bit. We're a lot more cautious, taking it slow and easy. Most of our rides are inside of the arena now with the occasional trail ride, but 
we do always try to either let someone know when we're going off on the trail or go out with the riding buddy. He knows I'm a strong rider. He knows Rednick would never do anything wild or crazy, like decide to go bronc on me and throw me off. But of course, they're horses. Anything can still happen. So that's where his trust in my strength as a rider comes in. If it hadn't been for all of the stirrup and reins free riding we did last fall, I definitely would not be as strong of a rider as I am today. And that's probably one of the main reasons I have continued riding for as long as I have into the pregnancy. But this moment right here. That is something that would not have been anyone's fault if I had come off of Renick. Just walk for a sec. You didn't see that. Ignore it. It was very graceful. It was such a split second incident. And even looking back on the camera, my fiance said that it definitely felt like it was a lot longer of a split second in person than when he sees it back on the camera. Even for me, I could tell how quickly it happened. Looking it back, I was shocked that it was pretty much nothing. But that split second did just go and remind me that no matter how good of a rider you are or no matter how good your horse is, anything can happen in a split second. Which is why we also keep our rides to as calm and relaxed and laid back as possible. Then if a situation like that did happen and I did come off, it's not going to be me coming off over a jump or ripping down a trail or a situation that could end much worse than a simple tumble. Obviously, our goal is to never let that happen in the first place, which is why I pay very close attention to my body, how it reacts in those situations, and I make sure that as soon as I feel like it's time to stop, we stop. But there have been people who have done much worse things when riding. We know people that have continued show jumping through pregnancies, some of them right up into eight and a half, sometimes even nine months. So at the end of the day, it really comes down to just trusting yourself, trusting your horse, and knowing when to listen to your body and when it's time to hang up the saddle. Okay, I think that's good. Oh. Hello.